come on! Well, there is one question I'm going to bring up again, because I don't know if I got a definitive answer, at least not on, you know, recording. Why on earth did you think the facial spell was a good idea? My hubris? <laughs> hubris, he says. Okay. And desire to make you play something that uh, I've <laughs> asked you to before? Was there any danger? <laughs> Ah, no. okay, never mind. I figured out what you meant. Destroy all humans, you twit. <laughs> okay, so are, are are we actually gonna make this a bet with the with? The... We need to talk about this not on video. Good, because I had some I had some concessions I was willing to give you for the half life thing, considering I know how the game works. Hot springs. <laughs> Why do they have a snowman in reception? Because <laughs> Cassidy froze, and now that's all that's left. And now Cassidy's dead. I killed him. <laughs> Welcome to the Redondo. You must be KO. And you must I'm be Cassidy dead. Snowman. Uh, Tron is waiting for you. You can go right in. <laughs> Thank you On second thought, why don't you help me get organized around here? It'll help you get the hang of things. How about I just destroy all your shit and make things do it with how I want to go? And then they would transition to the uh, the tutorial screen. <laughs> Here's how you play KO. All oh, right, I forgot these guys shoot sheep. <laughs> Sheepish of you, eh? Oh look, showers. You can you can shower under a waterfall. <laughs> Ironically, the Resort to Danger music I just put on because I was getting tired of hearing punch, 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 punch. It's the scenery! Uh, send it to me and I will put it in the video, but when we get There's to music, point, though, so it won't sound right. Right? Or did the music stop? There's barely any music, just the occasional, uh, flute. That's boring. <laughs> then, yeah, I guess you could overlay this. Basically, Although, you're gonna have to message me then, because knowing you, if I give it to you now, it'll get lost. Absolute mundo. So hopefully you watch this later and you will actually Bro, do it. I watch everything I edit while I'm editing it. Cool. Piranha Keepers. Blap, 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 blap. It's sped up for some reason. It's also dying because it's out of water. Maybe it's the rare land piranha. Oh, like in uh, the bad guys? Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if I should have seen that in theaters. You should have, it's good. I watched it when it came on streaming because I was like, eh, it might be good, I don't know, it looks weird. It and was, then I think there were other movies I wanted to see at the same time. It was an adorable movie, I will say. I wouldn't say adorable, but it was a good movie. I think, I think Snake and, uh, and Wolf are an adorable couple. And before you, you before you get uh, after you me, you think everything's adorable though. So before you get after me, it's actually canon. Oh really? Who says says who? The books. Oh, what do you know? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. There's uh, stupid little picture books on the game or on the show. You didn't realize the, the books movie. came first. Behold, the world's largest, most incredible, uh, pointy thing. Missile. It's a missile. In the world! That's how I felt trying to talk, just there. I've got two out of four heart pieces. <sighs> but yeah, uh, according to the books, uh, Mr. Snake is uh, is really enamored with Wolf, and it gets really sad when he starts hanging out with, uh, with Diane more. Mm. And Wait, there's a Netflix special? 
Wait, are they making a? If they're making uh, excuse a. Excuse me, game. Are what they are you, What's a, this about a Netflix special? I was not told about. Are they making a bad guys TV series? Uh, oh, it's a holiday special. But hey, that's a star. It's coming out this Christmas. Excellent. Maybe we'll have a little Christmas romance with Wolf and Snake. I mean, I'm down to watch that with you because I enjoyed it enough. Same. And they're still releasing novels too. Yes, they are. Oh, and there's one thing from the novels that you'll definitely enjoy. What's this? Um, there is a... In one of them, there's a scene where Wolf uh, gets uh, growth raid into 50, being 50 feet tall. And most His of the, clothes didn't grow too, did they? No, but they did give him super stretchy undies. <laughs> I, was, I was worried I'd come out naked, but my clothes grew too. <laughs> but no, they actually did give him uh, growth on his look it up. If they if they make choice. a movie out of that book, they better keep that in. <laughs> I would you'd make me go on like release day to figure out for you because it, I'd be able to see it before they'd release it online. <laughs> I, w I wish you had gone Who's to see signing up for this. I wish you had <laughs> gone to see um uh what is it? Um Super Mario, so you could tell me how much cake Donkey Kong has. Oh, I am going to see Mario. Well, then you can tell me how much cake they gave him. Yeah, I'm going on Sunday. I'm also going to go see Guardians, so you'll get that out of your system as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm looking for. Raccoon to die! <laughs> I, you know, I, every time you say something like that, it makes me want to hurt you. Oh, get over it. I know your threats are empty. Are they now? Just wait. Every time you say that, it's an empty threat. Well, we'll see just how much you love you to know Jack this this year. Oh, if I hate it, I'll just uh, not play. Backup plan is just do you to know Jack 2011 again. So, ha. You would have hurt poor Joe like that. Oh, I, if it was going to be bad like that, he usually either warns me, tells me the answers, or commandeers. Oh, I we're, always we're, like when he commandeers your questions. We have a few surprises <laughs> this year. Uh, I am looking forward to it, so I hope you don't purposely ruin it just because you're trying to get back at me, because I am looking forward to playing the game. I'm looking forward to it, too. Just please stop reminding me that there's a possibility Rocket could die. Because I am already... Am I allowed to confirm it when I see the movie? You're allowed to confirm it, but you're not allowed to gloat about it, because I will make you... I'm not going to gloat. I would just say yay yeah, or nay. Y knowing you, I don't trust that. <laughs> yeah, you probably shouldn't. Whenever, I know whenever, too. whenever you're right about something like that that you know will annoy the hell out of me, <laughs> you don't fucking let it go. I don't let it go of anyone, so... So if you if you gloat about about rock it, whether or not Rocket dies if you're right, I will. Oh, hurt you're gonna gloat if I'm wrong. So I will not gloat if you're wrong. I but you if you gloat about being right and he does actually die and doesn't. That's a come weird back thing to way, gloat about, but yeah. If you if you gloat about it, I will hurt you. I don't believe you, but whatever. There's no. Evidence in the past that you would ever do such a thing. You forget I'm related to my mother, and she's a very vindictive bitch. Hmm. Well, <laughs> oh boy, we'll have to see where that goes. For a second there, I was worried you're gonna freeze yourself in an unescapable cube because you unfroze it too fast. You know what? I, you know a cube I'd love to, I'd love to see more of. Kevin. The friendship cube. Kevin. Kevin. What's funny is you don't know what I mean. Oh, hello. Spectral, spectral goats. Yay, spectral goats! I do know what you mean though. Because Kevin's the cube in Fortnite, isn't it? Yep. He is my son, and I love him. What the hell? What kind of bird is this? Tweet, tweet! <laughs> tweet, tweet, motherfucker! 
Oh, that reminds me, uh, the, the Owl House ended yesterday. Yeah. I thought it ended two days ago. I don't know exactly, but it, and what relation is. Anyway, uh, we, it was pretty good. Uh, Roma didn't particularly care for the ending, but I did. Hmm. I mean, it's not a surprise that you care for an ending that other people don't. Yeah. I have different tastes. Was it because it was a happy ending? Is that why he didn't like it? No, he said that it tried to do too much at once. Well, I mean, it kind of had no choice. So yeah, that was the same to. thing with the yeah. Ducktales ending, though. They tried to do too much in 90 minutes, and it was bad. He was particularly annoyed about uh, about the collector taking up a good portion of it. Manage treatment. I was upset that they're like, oh, here's this great big plot involving Webby and, you know, Scrooge, and we're going to tell it to you in two seconds. No, like, season four long mystery to figure it out. I think I think they would they would have if the show had lasted longer. Oh, I know they would have, but uh, Disney can a lot of shows that year, especially shows I liked, and I'm not forgiving them yet for it. I don't forgive David Zaslav. He needs to, he needs to just be... Fire. That guy's HBO though. You know, yeah, but he has he, he owns Warner Brothers Discovery. Mm -hmm. And for I Infinity would, Train or other things now. Infinity Train um, and a bunch of other. He he has canceled and written off several. He killed several, Scoob Christmas. I know that. He also killed the Hex Girls uh, sequel. He he tried to kill uh, an already completed movie, uh, Scooby-Doo and Crypto 2, which got leaked online and he can do nothing about. Did you see it? Uh-huh, I downloaded it. I was, oh good, because I've been wanting to see it and I can't find it. It's on Soap Today, I think. No wait, no it's not, it's on Kim Cartoon. Isn't that site dead to us? I, I found a way well, around Let's watch it. cartoons I... online, excuse me. Actually that site works now too. Oh, sweet. They were like, oh, I guess, you know, trying to make people pay for a subscription service when they're <laughs> when they're trying to use my website to avoid subscription services was a bad idea. Who oh, oh, would have thought? And I found out by signing up for an account on Kim Cartoon, I'm able to avoid 90% of their ads. Cool. <laughs> Anyways, it's was pretty it good. good, by the way? It is pretty good. Cool. Did they use the same VA for crypto, or is he somehow not talk? He doesn't talk. Well, that's boring. A little bit. I enjoyed but... his voice in that Scoob movie, the only movie that came out during freaking COVID. I also enjoyed his voice back when he had his own cartoon. But no, he does. He only barks. Boo. Mm -hmm. Also, I think Scooby has a crush on him. How can you tell? Every I guess I'll find out when I watch the movie. He quite frankly has a love at first sight moment. <laughs> and that's well, they are kind of trying to move that way. Honestly, it, it, would, it wouldn't be out of place, to be honest. Well, I guess I have to deal with that over uh, Velma being like, I know best, I put nothing above myself. My finale was horrible, and I wish I didn't get five new seasons. What chilling looks like? They should be lying on a beach with a cold cocoa juice, not being nibbled and chummed by piranhas. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Velma is terrible. That uh, Mindy Cowling should be absolutely blackballed from ever producing anything ever again. <laughs> that was Mindy Cowling saying, "Not on my watch. You're dead first. <laughs> if I were to ever meet Mindy Cowling, I'd break out all the teeth." It's weird because now I can't watch The Office anymore. <laughs> Thanks to that. Yeah, she's a terrible person. Yep. I, I was just... talking to Joe about it, and it's like I can't watch The Office anymore because I see Mindy Cowling and because of Mindy Cowling, and he, <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, you know, she's just sitting there fit whispering, Velma, to you." Yep. <laughs> Yep, but yeah, I absolutely want to break out all of her teeth. You and everyone else on both sides of the spectrum. What's even what's even worse is they tried to tag in. I actually watched just a little bit of it just to just to see if I was right and just how bad it was. And guess how they tied in Scooby Doo? 
Uh, I saw how it was, how they tied in Scooby-Doo, but you are free to say it again. They tied it in by making it the name of a science experiment involving the transfers of brains from one body to another. <laughs> uh, who knows, maybe Scooby will be in the next season. Somehow it's like, aha, it worked, except he doesn't talk and he's gonna die. Velma should not get a season two. Oh, it already has gotten a season two. I said it should not. Ah, okay. I didn't say that it won't. I said it Hey, David Zaslav, you want to write off something else for tax reasons? Velma, go for it. That would be the only time I'd cheer David Zaslav. The rest of the time, I just want his head on a pike. I remember I was mad for years that they had to replace Casey Kasem as Shaggy's voice actor. But Matthew Lillard's killing it. I did not like Matthew Lillard for years. Well, but you have to admit now that he's absolutely killing the role. He's finally... I think either he finally got it down or I've gotten used to him. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought the guy from Scream would uh, would become the best Shaggy we've ever had? No, oh, I wouldn't say that. Casey Kasem's still better, but... Casey Kasem. Lillard's all right. I'm pretty say, I'm pretty sure Casey Kasem is is friends with with uh, Matthew Lillard. Casey Kasem's not here anymore. I'm pretty sure he was. Before, I'm pretty sure he was friends before he passed on. Is what I mean. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That takes care of all that. Yeah. Welcome to American Top 40. I'm Matthew Lillard. <laughs> you know, you know something? It, it's the, it's the, it proves you're a bad writer when everyone is only happy with your creation when they're, when they're in pain. Oh, <laughs> and we're still, we're back to Velma, aren't we? Well, if you think about it, there, there's, there's a lot of scenes where Velma is literally in pain, and people. And those are their most popular videos on YouTube. Yeah. I wonder how she feels about people hating her show. Uh, I think she's I think she's doing like J.K. Rowling and just, just uh, looking at her big check for get, making something. <laughs> I mean, J.K. Rowling, she um, she was asked how she feels about alienating her entire fan base. <laughs> and she said, well, I, whenever I think about that, I look at my big royalty check and I feel so much better. <laughs> Nobody that. feels that. sarcastic. Yeah, but it was actually genuine. She doesn't care. She doesn't care about anyone. I mean, if like everyone hated me, I probably wouldn't care either. At least you didn't do what JK did. You know, yet. I'm pretty sure I have you a never big folder called How to Become JK Rowling 2, and it's off to a great start. Oh, we're Step number one, get you to act on your threat. Step number two. I haven't worked on that yet, but it's getting there. Step number two, become an anti-Semite. Step number three? Step number three, beat up the nearest transgender person and say, I'm such a victim. Yeah. Did she actually beat someone up, though? She actually, she probably would. Well, until that does, that proves that's a lie, lying statement right there. Well, she is an anti-Semite. Uh, have you ever noticed that the goblins of Gringotts Bank look, partic look at, like particularly Jewish uh, stereotypes? How's that being anti-Semitic and not just like, ah, oh, here's more Jewish representation? They're goblins. So? They're not Jewish. Have you ever seen an anti-Semitic uh, representation of a, of a Jewish person? No, and I don't tend, intend to. Let me put it to you this way. It, short, balding, long nose. Hmm. So, so Doofenshmirtz, got it. Doofenshmirtz is neither short nor balding. Nor even Jewish. <laughs> Fun thing I learned about Charlene. Um, not to change the subject, but I'm changing the subject anyway. Uh, do you know who her voice actor is? I knew it one time, but I done forgot. Oh, wait! It's Bonnie! It's Bonnie! <laughs> That's pretty odd. Bonnie Plunkett from Mom, for those who aren't aware. 
You know, uh, you know her. The, her, the one and only time she sang in the show is my is one of my favorite songs from Phineas and Ferb. Oh, all the. I was I was thinking all for a second. Wait. All the reasons we pretend to be divorced. I was thinking to myself, what episode did she sing in Mom, and where can I find it? Because I need to watch it. That, that honestly, that. That is one of my favorite songs from Phineas and Ferb is all of the convoluted reasons we pretend to yes. be divorced. That's a really good song. I have to and wonder then they if never true. went back to the second dimension to resolve, you know, their return to power attempt. You do realize that we're getting another season, so we might. Oh, we might. Mm -hmm. True. We don't know what I feel like they just happened. left. I feel like they should have resolved that better than just, uh, okay, Alka's back, but also Evil Guy's back. Candace is retiring. Hooray! Also, that also that universe proves that um, that there can be um, easily relations between uh, Alka agents and their uh, owners. Because, like, look at look at Second Dimension Perry and Phineas and Ferb. There's nothing there's nothing wrong with them knowing. Uh -huh. There's not one damn thing wrong with it. So, I I I, I think. Then explain the then what. Did they just change the rules for a second dimension or something? Well, I mean, they kind of had to. The everything changed over there. And it's not like they could keep it a secret, considering most of the Alka agents are partially made of metal. Yeah. Well, like right. here's your here's your pet dog, uh, kid. He has a metal body now and is immortal. And also has uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Self-awareness, something, something, intelligence. I give up. You mean I sentience? I can't think of what I was trying to say. Sentience, thank you. Yeah, so... Anthropomorphism would have also worked. Yeah, anthropomorphism. So, like, seriously, there, there is no reason why Phineas and Ferb can't know. You could sure Except use major something. monograms what like <laughs> erasing. Relaxing is something that a person your age could benefit from. We'll answer that later. I just, I just think that Phineas and Ferb should know. In fact, they could, they could bloody well help. Like, think of all the they things wanted they wanted to too. Think of all the things that they could build for Alka. Yes, the next 15 minutes will be very amazing for you, I'm sure. At least we know Kandarami is definitely going to happen. It can't not happen. Yeah, Xavier and Fred. Xavier and Amanda! And we'll love him just the same. You do realize that you gotta add Fred in there. That was a quote from the show, and she didn't mention Fred. Yeah, because Fred was... I think Fred was adopted. Because, I mean, he, he doesn't really look like he matches Candace or Jeremy in appearance. Xavier and Amanda do, but not Fred. Maybe he's Stacy's kid, who just hangs out there all the time. Uh, no, uh, Amanda clearly I haven't seen says, those episodes in a while, so I don't remember the context. Um, uh, Amanda clearly set, calls, um, Xavier and Fred Candace's two sons. Do you see your two okay. sons out there doing nothing? They never do anything! You know, when I was with, when I was a kid, Phineas and Fred and I had a great time, and I totally wasn't trying to bust him as every single day. All right, I don't have fire. I would kind of like to see a, a spin-off uh, regarding Xavier and Fred, as long as they do something. And <laughs> not just stand in front of, of a fake tree. Yeah. The, the problem is they've never had great luck with spin-offs of Phineas and Ferb. Hamster and Gretel's not doing too bad. That's not a spin-off of Phineas and Ferb. Yes, it is. Same universe. How is this? That doesn't count! Doofenshmirtz literally makes an appearance in one episode. Ugh. Doofenshmirtz is gonna be the death of them. Just like it was the death of Milo Murphy's Law. Honestly, I liked it when Doof was there. It means we got more- I power. hate it! it means After we got they more... introduced Doof. It got more- we got more parry. 
That's not what that show's about. They kind of destroyed the concept of that show by doing inserts of other characters for fan service, and I am not happy in the least about it. Season 2 can die in a hole. Season 1's a lot better. I enjoyed it. You enjoy most everything, even if it's terrible. Uh, no, I don't enjoy Velma. Okay, I said most everything. Velma's the ex Velma's like the only thing I know you don't like. There's a lot of other things I don't like. Great to help. Code Lyoko Evolution wasn't great. Okay. I'm trying to think. Um, I don't like... I don't particularly care for the, uh, the rebooted Ben 10 either. Alright, we're up to three. Oh, I found the O. And I missed the A somewhere. Ah, well. Anything um, else? Hang on, I'm thinking. I don't particularly care for Shallon Chronicles, the uh, uh, spiritual successor. Somewhat, I don't know what I don't know what to call that because it's it has all the same characters and stuff, but it's not good. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I didn't even think the original was good. I liked it. I just endured it because I had strong incentive to get through that show. You remember, you remember how the, they made a whole big thing about becoming the, the Shoku warrior and only one of them could be in, in, the, in the original series? No. The ending thing where Ramundo got it? No. Omi literally traveled in time and changed history to try and become it? No. Well, whatever. They did that, <laughs> and then in uh, Shaolin Chronicles, everyone's a Shoku warrior. Not KO, he got blown away. Clearly I gotta do something to stop that. <laughs> Why does that not have collision? Now it does. <laughs> or maybe you're just supposed to go really, really fast against the wind. Makes sense. Careful when you're going back, because it'll probably blow really fast! And my eyes have decided this is not a good scenery to look at anymore. Ah! Fight! Pogo Bouncer. It killed the camera. I was gonna say, I'm not sure what's up with that. Why was it telling you to press Y there? Ultimate. And you're done. I guess. That was kind of a weird fight. I can't see anything. Oh, it's actually still fighting? No, I uh -oh. mean, I literally can't see. It's that red thing is not the game trying to transition back to the main hub? No. You're stuck in the ground, aren't you? I can't do anything. Can you menu? You can menu. We're not restarting the level. We spent half an hour here. Come on, we're 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 done, aren't we? Uh, I don't know. Wait, wait. What's this? There was a square there. All I can do is shift colors. Hmm. 
This isn't the fog part of the level. If it is, I can't even hear KO punching. I think I'm in the void. You fell through the scenery. So thank y'all for watching this episode of KO the Kangaroo. If you liked it, leave us a like. If you're new around here, subscribe. Go check out Anthony's channel. We'll see you next time. Yeah, because if the game was going to correct this, it would have figured it out by now. It's not going to correct it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Rick. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends, Joe 2000 and uh, uh, Luigi Fan 891.